What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Trendy Topics, where we discuss the latest in hip-hop and gossip. So Meg Thee Stallion finally exposed Tory Lanez, and it's been a while since we even talk about the whole Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion situation, but I'm pretty sure that you guys must have known that the day would have come where she would have actually spoke out on the situation. So she also exposed this publicist for lying. You know, she's talking up a whole bunch of stuff. There's a lot of persons sympathizing with Meg, including myself, because I don't think no man should actually put his hands on a female worse if you're going to shoot her that makes you look even weak so i'm not really siding with tory lanes on this one and i'm going to show y'all the reaction from the fans but before i get to that i'm gonna play the video so you can hear exactly what meg the stallion had to say so check this out guys worry about it yes this nigga tory shot me you shot me and you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit stop lying why lie i don't understand i tried to keep the situation off the internet but you dragging it you really fucking dragging it motherfuckers talking about i hit this nigga i never hit you Motherfuckers was like, oh, she mad because he's trying to fuck with Kylie. No, I wasn't. Like, you dry shot me. Like, everybody in the car, it's only four motherfuckers in the car. Me, you, my homegirl, and your security. Everybody in the car arguing. I'm in the front seat. This nigga in the back seat. I get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I get out. I'm walking away. This nigga from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. You shot me. I ain't get cut by no glass, but let me tell you why they saying that. When the when the police, because the people in the neighborhood, there's a witness. When the police came, because the, the neighbors called the police, this did not happen at Kylie house. This happened damn near back at the house I was staying at. I was just trying to get home. We was five minutes away from my spot. The police come. I'm scared. All this shit going on with the police. The police is, is shooting motherfuckers for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no motherfucking reason. Soon as the police tell us all get out the motherfucking car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm about to tell the police that we... Niggas, us black people got a gun in the car? You want me to tell the laws that, that we got a gun in the car so they can shoot all of us up? Nigga, I'm scared. It's a fucking helicopter over us. It's some more shit. Why the fuck would I tell the laws somebody got a gun in this car and this nigga shot me? So I can get shot, you can get shot, she can get shot, he can get shot. I ain't tell the police what happened immediately right then because I didn't want to die. I don't want to, I don't want the police to shoot me because it's a nigga with a gun in the car. I'm leaking, I'm bleeding. Motherfucker, somebody, I'm lying, bitch. Did I pay a helicopter to come over me and, and uh record my feet leaking blood? No. How the fuck I'm going to fake that? I didn't tell the police nothing because I didn't want us to get in no more trouble than what we was already about to get in. The fuck? I get to the motherfucking hospital, the police bitch being so rude to me. Well, what, you know, what's going on? Like, da 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 da. You're being detained, da da da. Ma'am, I'm being detained, I'm leaking. But I'm still not saying what happened. Shit crazy. The motherfucking doctor, the police, the motherfucking doctor, the police finally let me go. I ain't go to jail. Them three motherfuckers went to jail. I get to the, I get to the hospital. The, the, the doctors do X-rays on my feet. Oh, ma'am, you got uh bullets in your feet. You got bullet fragments in your other foot. I'm damn. I'm thinking the doctors is the police, so I'm still trying not to tell them. Like, no, nah, I, I didn't know I got. Sh you know what I'm saying? I'm scared. Like I've never been shot before. I don't have to lie about that. Why would I lie? You want me to be a bad person so bad and y'all motherfuckers want to believe the lie before you believe the truth. Stop trying to come on the internet acting like a black woman, a, a grown ass black woman, really got any reason to be lying on another grown ass black man when all the shit fucked up going on in the world right now. If you really want to tell the motherfucking truth, I tried to save this nigga. Even though he shot me, I tried to spare him. And y'all motherfuckers is not sparing me. That's crazy. That's fucked up. 
I go to. All right, guys. So after that Instagram live came out, as I said, a lot of fans were reacting to the whole situation. And one fan said, I'm trying to figure out what made Tori so emotional that he had to pull out a gun. I don't get it. Another fan said, there's no way people are downplaying Tori's domestic abuse and calling it snitching. I refuse to believe it. Um, I guess persons were saying that Meg is a snitch, obviously for saying that Tory Lane shot her. You know, they have this street code where you are not supposed to snitch if you proclaim to be a gangster. But Meg is not a gangster. She's a girl. <laughs> anyway, so another person said, Tory Lane's is officially over. Someone responded and said, just like Chris Brown, he'll get away with it. I bet, sadly. Um, so someone responded to that person saying, Chris didn't shoot Rihanna, not defending what he did. I'm not saying people won't still listen to his music, but as far as working with him, they'll probably be think twice, and optics play a huge role. If you're an acquaintance of Meg, you won't be working with Tori. And JoJo reveals she has taken Tori off the deluxe edition of her album. Good to know, following Meg the Stallion confirming he shot her. So basically, Tori Lanez is feeling the heat right now. And there's a lot of persons who aren't going to work with Tory, but I still think that there are going to be a few rappers and maybe even R&B singers who are going to work with him. Not sure who, but I'm sure he's not going to be like down and out forever. But he just got to worry about what's going to happen, you know, over this whole shooting incident. And that's why I say you got to make smart moves. You got to think before you do dumb-ish. And what Tory Lane did, there's no coming back from that. Maybe if he had done something different like Pistol Whipper or something. And I'm not encouraging any, you know, any form of abuse against females. But if you're going to shoot someone, then come on, man. What do you expect to happen, you know? But guys, leave your comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, you can hit the thumbs down button. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed. And make sure you turn that bell on to get notified whenever I post new content. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.